What's happening? Lunch with bomb. Been off for a little bit, but we're back. Been uh, crazy schedules. Still trying to get the schedules figured out. But uh, topic of the day today is what's important to you? Got my Insta Live going. Got my Facebook Live. Hey, uh, when you come on, you know, if you value what I got going on, uh, you know, like and share. Drop those thumbs up and hearts. Appreciate that. You know, we'll uh, switch up the algorithm going here. So uh, once again, if you value uh, what I got going on, uh, share it for me. All right. You know, like it. Thumbs up. If uh, if this is the first time, you know, uh, you've been uh, you've been watching very first time. Drop a three down below. Uh, if you're watching live, drop a one. And uh, if you're watching the replay, drop a two just so I can uh, connect with you. So if you're watching live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. If this is the first time you ever kind of come on and uh, watched, uh, who's this crazy guy lunch with bomb anyway, right? Uh, you know, drop a three. I'd love to connect with you. I'll shoot you a message and, uh, you know, keep uh, all the positivity going. But there's the bell too. You know, we're still trying to figure the schedule out. Anyway, uh, they call me bomb. Uh, my name is Frank Baumholtz. Been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years. Run my own gym. Uh, I just love uh, filling uh, the day with positivity. So I started these lunch with bombs a while back, just because uh, you know I want to assist aspiring people attain their performance and fitness goals. So if you got a goal that you've been struggling with, I've been talking with a bunch of people lately. You know they just they for whatever reason life's in the way. You know and they just need a little pick me up. So if I can be that. Uh, you know, sounding board for you or that springboard for you. Uh, I'm glad to share what I'm doing. Um, but, uh, you know, today, today, my thought is, uh, you know, what's important to you? You got to define that. You got to define what's important to you. You know, I have a saying that I always say that, uh, you know, if it's important to me, I'm going to do it every day. If it's not important to me, I'm not going to do it. You know, it's like brushing my teeth and putting on clean undies. You know, it's important. I don't know. It might not be important for you, but for me, it's important. So it's something that I do every day. You know, I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to put on clean uh, shorts, and I'm going to go about my day. And just, uh, you know, other things that, uh, you know, I think about is I have a morning routine. So many people don't have a morning routine. You know, you got you to gotta establish it. And there's so many people that, uh, you know, don't write things down. I've been talking about it tons lately about, you know, only 3% of the population write their goals down. Come on, people, write, get out a pen, get out a pencil, get out, look, even my lunch with bombs, I'm writing things down. You know, you got to write things down. You know, I think that's one of the biggest things. You know, we're so techie nowadays, but there's something about just a note, a handwritten note that's right in front of you. You know, uh, even if you want to do something, here's a great one. If you want to do something nice for someone, go get a, a an envelope, piece of paper, or even a, a nice stationery. Just write a handwritten note. Hey, I was thinking about you. You know, uh, you know, maybe we could grab lunch or grab coffee sometime, you know blah 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 whatever you know and then just sign your name and put it in the mail oh wait you gotta put a stamp on this crazy thing put it in the mail and send it to them you'll be amazed you'll be amazed at the the response you get from a simple handwritten note people love that stuff because we don't get it anymore we're so like text uh whatever got going on you know we live in an eight second snapchat instagram world that if it's you know not within those time frame then we we're it's gone but uh anyway but you got to define it what's important to you that's the whole thing, you know. Everybody's different, you know. The the whole why. What is your why? My three girls are my why. You know, they all. I always say, if your why doesn't make you cry, then it's not big enough. You you've got to establish what it is, and then the goal. Write the goal down. The goal is to keep the goal the goal. Anything outside of the goal that's moot doesn't matter, you know. And if 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 you're always distracted from things that you're doing, then your goal isn't big enough and your why isn't big enough because all you're gonna do is make excuses. You make progress you make excuses. You can't have both. We were talking the other day. Sometimes you have to have a lateral step, but you got to keep moving forward, right? You know, if you're always moving backwards, backwards. Now, sometimes backwards is okay. You got to take a step back to go forward, but you got to have progress. You got to have forward progress. So sometimes it's a side step and then move forward. It's like being around negative people all the time. If you're around negative people all the time, sidestep them and move forward. Go find other people to hang around. You know, that's the way I, I live my life. I, I can't, I can't hang around in a circle with negative people. So, but, uh, you know, so you got to define what that is. Um, so, but, uh, let's see, got my thoughts here real quick. Um, oh, one other thing, you know, important stuff, you know, someone was asking me the other day, well, why do you like in the weight room in your workouts and stuff and your warm ups? why do you have kettlebell swings and, uh, Turkish get ups? 
And it's important to me. Prime's the pump. It's like the hammer and the stone, the yin and the yang, and it just goes together synergistically and beautifully that gets you ready for your workout. So once again, it's important to me. So we do it every day. If it's not important to me, then you know we, we won't do it. You know, I have to tell my students, if you want a bigger bench press, get a bigger get up. And you got to be willing to work. You got to be able to go out and and do the work. But if you never write it down, you got you got no chance. You know, so you know you got to define. Once again, you got to define what's important to you. You know, you're if it's important, do it every day. Brush your teeth, put on clean underwear, do swings and get ups in your workout. Uh, whatever it is, do go through your warm up. Don't skip your warm up. If it's not important to you, then don't do it. But if for me, it's important, so you got to do it. Right? It's all those pieces, the pieces to the puzzle. They all fit together in a certain way. So um, anyway, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, let's go to the next one. So, you know, I mentioned about morning routines. You know, have your morning routine. You know, whatever it is. You, but you got to have it. I write mine down. You know, I get up in the morning. I get up 4.15 every day. I go, I get up, I go downstairs, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I do my business, I go whatever I gotta do, I go into the kitchen, I grab, get dressed, you know, I get the, let the dog out, get my cup of coffee, and then here's the key, I have a few minutes where I sit down and just in the quiet, me and my cup of coffee and the dog, and I have my mental prep for the day. I think about a positive word that I can think about each day, and it's gotta be something big, you know, like enthusiasm, smile, all right, uh, maybe it's energy. It doesn't matter what it is. You pick it. All right, it's you for the day because your day, your life. There's so much negative in this world. There's so much negative that brings you down. That if you don't, um, if you don't have some intent to go do something with a mindset and the heart to go do it, you're never gonna do it. And then you just make excuses why you can't do it. That's why people can't lose weight. It's like they make excuses while well, I'm too old, I don't have enough time, uh, blah, 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 whatever. All right, you know, blah, 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 go work out. It's like it's that simple. I got two, I got two steps for you. Don't overeat and work out daily. Some type of exercise, I don't care what it is. Get your heart rate up so you break a sweat. Could be in the weight room, could be on the track, could be going for a walk, hike a mountain, uh, whatever it is. It doesn't even matter, right? So, you know, don't overeat. Do something fitness-wise every single day. Uh, you know, so my, but that's my morning routine. I get up early, uh, I get, take care of my business, uh, make sure I take care of the dog because that's my responsibility. I get a little mental prep for the day. Uh, I drink my nutritionals and fill in the gaps with some supplements every single day. Uh, you want to know what that is? Message me. I'm glad to share, right? But I got my routine and I don't skip. It's important to me. I do it every day. Don't skip, all right? It's like I was telling my students the other day. Don't skip reps. If I write five, don't do two. If I write eight, don't do six. All right. The only person that cares if you skip a rep, it's your opponent or your uh, person that's opposing you in the workforce that they're going to take your job. That they they're the only ones that care. Go ahead, skip a rep. Doesn't matter to me, you know, because I'm going to whoop your butt. All right. Whether it's in the work, whether it's on the field. So don't skip reps. Have a plan and work the plan every single time. Write it down and then do it. All right. Uh, let's see a couple other things uh, once again word of the day pick a word of the day I love words of the day you know you go in and you, mine a lot of times mine's gonna be the same one energy enthusiasm smile attack the day you know attack the day with enthusiasm we always say your your attitude will dictate your altitude so if you're all boohoo me blah 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 you know everything's bad shoot it's gonna be bad if you walk if you from the second you wake up in the morning and you're thinking about how great the day is going to be, how positive the day is going to be, you know, what's important to you, establish what that importance is. You're going to have amazing, doesn't matter if, if it's even a bad day, you know, you're going to have a good day. All right. You know, people say, oh, TGIF, everybody can't wait till Friday. Shoot, every day is Friday. It's all up here. It's in your mindset and how you approach it. You know, we're all, there's speed bumps, curveballs in the road. Shoot, life's tough. Put a helmet on, keep moving. Right? So, uh, a couple other things. Make sure, set a goal. Here's what I want you to do. Here's my challenge to you. All right? Uh, establish a morning routine. Uh, have a little mental prep during the day. Uh, make sure that you pick a word of the day. All right? That's your third thing. And then uh, set a goal. It could be a goal that you're going to accomplish today. It could be something that you're maybe you're, you got a race or you got something that's maybe, maybe it's. Don't wait till the new year. Everybody, God, New Year's resolutions suck. You know, people always set goals in New Year's resolutions and then by January 7th, they're gone. All right, set it today. All right, today, today's action. You want transformation? Why not do it today? Everybody, I even hashtagged it, Transformation Tuesday. Shoot, my buddy Taylor lost 100 and some pounds. All right, get out of here. You know, you say you can't do it. It's all in your head. You can do it. 
All right, why not? If you got 100 pounds to lose, go lose 100 pounds. But establish a morning routine. Uh, set a, a, a little time for some mental prep. Pick a word of the day, something that you can fill your head with positivity. All right, no negatives, all positives, right? Set a goal, all right? If you don't, I remember, I've been blowing this thing up. We got our 90-day challenge. I got my MVP transformation challenge. If you don't know how to do it, ask for help. Ask for help. There's too many people, there's too many good coaches and people out there that have been doing it for so long that know how to do it, that have gone through it themselves, that that's what we do. That's what folks are here for, all right? I had one of my students today. She said she didn't understand me. She didn't say a word. I heard it from somebody else. I went and talked to her. I said, you, I heard you, you didn't understand what I was uh, trying to get across to you today. And she's like, yeah. I said, why didn't you come talk to me? I don't know. I don't know is not a good excuse. All right, I don't know means never. It's like garbage, all right? So you gotta ask. If you don't know, you gotta ask. So once again, recap. What's important to you? What's your why? If your why doesn't make you cry, then it's not big enough, all right? Set a morning routine. Uh, make sure you have some mental prep in the day. Uh, pick a word of the day. Write a goal down. And then if you need help, ask for help. That's what we're here for, okay? Once again, I love these Lunch with Bombs. If you come on, once again, uh, if this is uh, you're watching live, drop a one. Uh, you're watching the replay, drop a two. If this is the first time, come on. I see some faces. I see some names on here. I oh, Captain. I see Captain on here. What's crack a lacking, my man? You keeping us safe? Um, let's uh, you know if you're if you're a first timer, drop a three. Drop a three down, and I'd love to connect with you and kind of hear where you're coming from. Uh, don't don't forget to get your workout in today. All right, and then. Uh, once again, if you find value in what I got going on, please share it with me. Uh, share it with folks. You know, make sure you drop some thumbs and hearts. Uh, that uh, blows that uh, algorithm up. That's uh, keeping us out of uh, everybody's uh, news feed and whatnot. So, uh, once again, I appreciate every one of you. What's important to you? Uh, you know, if it's important to you, do it every day. That's what I do. All right. I appreciate you guys. We'll come back another lunch with bomb. Peace.